Which is why I showed it. Okay. Investigate the tape recorder. From a point of defense, this place has some good choke points, but <clears throat> overall it's a weak setup. Put up and down under pressure. I don't know the constraints they were working under. Eric, take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? Oh, God. You stop wearing yours? Now is not the time. It didn't. Always close to my heart. Okay, let's be nice to him. You're always a good guy. You need to go. <clears throat> don't you don't. No. Stop it. You've forgotten what this ring means to me. I want you back, Rachel. Sorry, this ship has sailed. To the SS debriefing. You need to let go of it. Someone else now. Oh no. I knew it. Oh, he knew. The bones of this oh shit. Are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore. Wow, something Just like her eyes, this relationship drifted apart. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was a good one. That was good. That was very good. Good good work, Pixie Twin. Shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world. Unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our bones. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken. But I must do what I must. It's not even like the I real Ashley Tisdale doesn't have this problem. Mary, I'm sorry. Well, that was intense. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh, no. Really? You're gonna do this now? <clears throat> Good night, Maureen. It's not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire to the over. That's Rachel. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. Say again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2 on actual. How copy over? Damn it. Oh, it's, it's not good. It's not very good. Zuzu Batman. Where's Rachel? Hold him off. Swear to me. Those are not Iraqi. Whatever the fuck they are, they're mine. Now is not the time for machismo, dude. I'm not leaving a man behind. I'm not leaving a man behind. No fucking way. Then you die with me. Goddamn place. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming. <sighs> oh. 
I'm I'm reasonably sure that he would have heard us like talking about that. <clears throat> oh, careful now, Tizzy. You can't we you can't go dying on us yet. Oh sh oh shit. Oh shit. I got you, Rich. I got you. Do you? Uh maybe. Oh no. Oh no. Get her up! <clears throat> Rachel, grab onto something! Ooh, this is bad. I can't see! It's too dark! Come on! What a... wow. Damn it, Rachel, will you hold still? She's not doing it on purpose! What a what a picture though. I'm so sorry. Rachel. I'm, so sorry. I'm so sorry you made this easier cuz you moved on. Oh my god, he's going to fucking do it. No! <laughs> you should have said that you loved me. luckless souls fallen into. Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. Maybe. Okay, she's probably definitely dead. Bonds that were once thought <clears throat> unbreakable have now been cut free. The heart is always the first to fall. And there are always unexpected casualties with any separation what of jason and nick brothers in arms but are they really as close as they appear or will it be a case of each man for himself which brings us to salim he seems level-headed an almost reluctant soldier perhaps An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. Unless you can find the means to save them. Nah, man, I'm here to kill as many of them as possible. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. Um, I'm going to say nothing. No advice. Let me go in the well, dark. Yeah. At least you'll have no one but yourself to blame if things don't pan out quite as you intend. <clears throat> That's all for now. No, different actor. Different actor. Uh, than the, the T-1000. Uh, Rachel! <laughs> I messed up, Rachel. I'm so sorry. For this. For everything. <clears throat> God. Left me. I killed them all. 
Don't doubt it, Corporal. But right now, we stay tight. Colonel, is that you? What happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. He opened fire on us. And Rachel, she fell. Now, now, she didn't fall. You definitely cut her. I, I, I definitely would love to replay this to, to, to make the other decision to, of not doing anything and seeing what happens. I, I held on. <laughs> as hard as I could. Technically, she fell. She was taking me down with her. I had to. I had to cut the rope. Rachel! <laughs> You're coming for us. You're coming. Oh, what a power move. We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. He just tells the guy that's sleeping with her now, I had to cut the rope. Oh, dude, no, I had no choice. Sorry. Sorry. Awful. Cut off your pussy supply. Slow down. <clears throat> you can still be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. Fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh no, not Joy. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant. What did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? Do you yeah. believe in God? Uh... Absolutely not. Oh. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping in shadows. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant! We're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick, take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Um, people have done. Understood, sir. Understood, sir. You got us into this mess. You better get us out. Do you want to repeat that? Oh? That's what I thought. You're gonna pull rank at this point. This is gonna be an interesting playthrough. Keep an eye on Merwin. We'll go check it out. The Pazuzu has got the power. They're, um, before I go, before I go out there. I cannot, I cannot walk onto the edge here. So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. 
so much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. Anything good in here? Just double checking. Okay, he's not Eric. He's Sir. You mind your manners. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. Now hang on. I'm just double I'm just double checking here. Okay. All right. Okay. We need a hand here. I'm on it. <clears throat> Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. The demon has a set of wire cutters. Around. Yeah, it's dead by up. daylight. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Oh, okay. But, um... Sounds like we're not alone here. Stay alert. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual. We're I mean, we know we're not alone, but... Like, Alex, directly. You be careful in there. Dropkick out. The demon used Table to be split. an electrician. Let's see what they lead to. And what's this way? Immediately. Immediately. Explorers. Yeah, I'll go with that. Gods of Sumer. By Frank Levitt. Lamat Lamashtu? Dust? You gotta be shitting me. Lamashtu is a terrifying she demon, a murderer of infants who feasted on the blood and flesh of men. She's mostly most commonly portrayed as a hairy lion headed monster with bird's feet, often shown kneeling on a donkey, a serpent held in each hand, and a dog and a pig suckling at her breasts. Wow. Okay. Um that is a picture. Lamashtu had seven names and was referred to in incantations as the Seven Witches. She was responsible for many evil deeds, a bringer of nightmares, a poisoner of rivers, and a herald of famine and disease. Can we get, like, a better picture of her? Because I'm not, I'm not, uh, oh my god, there's more. I didn't, I didn't even, I fucked up on that other book. I didn't flip the pages. Um, belt buckle found in tomb of Akkadian priest is figure four. Belt buckle detail. Amashtu was the daughter of the Akkadian sky god Anu, father of gods and demons and the god of earthly kings. Anu was most often depicted in a horned headdress, while his Sumerian counterpart An, An was depicted as a great bull. In Mesopotamian religion, bulls were frequently seen as a sign of strength and a belief passed on to later Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cultures. For Greek philosophers, the bull's horn symbolized the horns of a dilemma. An impossible choice with no right answer. The gods of Sumer uh, certainly presented no right answer for the Sumerians. They were at once kindly and cruel, grand and petty, fallible and supreme. Um, the Sumerian underworld. Pity the pauper who is buried with little. Their afterlife would be shabby and poor. Those who died unburied would have no life after death at all, but would simply cease to exist. So the doorway to underworld was uh, the grave, and the Mesopotamian peoples from Sumerians through to the Akkadians would be buried under their homes or nearby. The well-to-do would even build chapels or shrines to serve as burial plots. Once buried, the Sumerian soul would travel a road to uh, the Zagros Mountains uh, in the east. Somebody, somebody was excited about that. 
where Utu, the sun god, rose each morning. Here was the entrance to the underworld where Utu rested at night. A staircase led down from the entrance to a series of seven gates. The catacombs? Uh, somebody wrote, the newly dead soul would then meet the god Neti, the gatekeeper, who at each gate would unbolt it and re relieve the soul of some of its burden and uh, of offerings until it arrived naked and powerless in the underworld. Temple built over gates to underworld is what they're theorizing this is, I think. At the threshold, the spirit appeared before uh, Ereshkigal, the goddess who ruled the underworld, who pronounced them dead. The scribe Gasht, uh, Gashtanana would record their names. Gashtanana. Uh, there were no rewards or punishment here. Rather, the dead lived according to the offerings they gave the gods. There was comfort for the wealthy and a hard existence for the poor. Um, that figure, that, that drawing is an example of typical votive statue. They often depict worshippers, not gods, and come in a variety of shapes. Okay, that's all I can do. Wow, Kolchak, I'm surprised you read all that. He read it, but did he really absorb it? I guess is the question. This way. There's a tripwire. Careful now. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropped in receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. <laughs> he's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. Um, hang on. There's a thing here. Oh, no. Well, that doesn't seem great. April 2nd, 1946. We have assembled our team. Top of my list was Unintelligible Crow, the bulldog of Omaha Beach. We found him in Cairo brawling for money in a, a, a Levantine drinking club. Crow recommended Unintelligible, and in Haifa we picked up my assistant, the always inquisitive Aline Journeau. Unintelligible insisted on the presence of her own advisor. It looks like it says Lady something. Um, Ellis Van Hoyten. An archaeologist I know only from Unintelligible. Our team complete, we shall head to Lebanon and from there by train to Unintelligible. Oh. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb. An honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellaheen doing the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god-king, the Akkadian despot, Naram-Sin. That's the guy mistaken, from the beginning. But Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages, a discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. 
looking out at this sceptered hall. I have no reason to doubt her. Okay. Interesting that the one side was uh, just a note, but the other side was a full-on video. A-59. Um, there was a catalog on another thing, too. A-29. Waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. I did finish Alien going? Cube. I thought it was great. It's your life. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue you. Joey is very. Let me remind you that I'm. Joey is very dead, and I don't know if they remember this. Yes. I'll lead the way. Cold check. You guard Merwin. Sergeant K and I will go ahead. This will be fun. Um. Be defiant. Not happening, Colonel. Nick and I are doing this alone. You realize the consequences of this cold check? I got bigger things to worry about. Yeah, he's right, Colonel. You should stay put. Well, fuck you, too. We don't like you, Chad. Oh, oh no. Meanwhile, Salim is trying to, um... Get anywhere. Oh, shit. Search the ruins. What's up, food dinner? Let me see those dirty angles. <laughs> Dar? Oh. I'll keep that. boy do we is this really is this smart I mean where I'm gonna do it are you you really you're going there okay all right oh we're gonna <laughs> Shit! Okay, get in the sun, motherfucker. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Where are you going? Stay in the sun! I guess you don't have a ton of time, but that thing has wings. What do you think you're doing? This is a different, this is a different, um, group. Oh. Looking too good for you, man. <laughs> We're going to need to be able to see a little better. They do have, like, a clicker sound to them. <clears throat> to be fair, though, like, if they tried to actually use, like, bat noises, it would be, um, really annoying. Ooh, there's something up here. R19. I can't fucking. Uh... Hmm. He's doing a little better than everybody else. Joey. The free the, it's the frequency of the bat noises is what I what what I mean. It's it, it's very very it, it's really it's kind of rough on the ears. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. Especially the distress calls. They're just really um they're, it's not so much that they're they're like um, loud. It's it, 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 it piercing, honestly. They're just kind of piercing. It's I've I've gosh. heard enough of them to to feel qualified to comment on this. I'm I'm almost of the mind that I need to go get like a coffee or something. Not that I this isn't a super long game or anything. Just um, this isn't 
great. It's Joey's. That's Joey, yeah. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. I was under the impression Joey was completely dead, though, so, um... 